say squealing. Is it squalling? Squalling. Squealing. Every morning, every night. Tell me something, boy. Oh, that's that's a knot. Hey guys. Stop waving like this. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. But if you're new here, hello, my name is Zoe. Um, and on my channel, you'll see everything from fashion, hair care, skin care, and more fashion. We love fashion and Poppy sometimes, you'll see Poppy. So on this week's Sunday episode, I am bringing to you my hair care kind of routine and styling tips as well for how I style my now short hair. I feel like my hair's grown so much already since December. I actually quite like my hair today, it's cute. So before every hair wash day, I usually like to wash it in the morning because I find when I wash it at night, uh, if I sleep on it wet, it just looks really greasy the next day. So I like to wash it in the morning and then I've got all day as well. So the night before hair wash day, I apply my oils and my serums and I get my rice water ready as well. I am testing out rice water because I've seen it all over TikTok, so I want to see what the hype's about. So yeah, I usually wash my hair every three days. I tend to push four if I can. Two years ago, I used to wash my hair every single day because it just got so greasy. It looked so greasy all the time and it just looked disgusting. But with lockdown, even though I have been working constantly through lockdown, going to work, I actually don't mind at all if my hair's not washed anymore because I've learned I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, I used to wash it every single day and because if I didn't, it just looked so greasy and oily. But now with lockdown, I went from washing it every day to every second day and then I've gone from every second day to every three days and then pushing it to four days as well. Which for me is great because I've been washing my hair every, well I used to wash my hair every single day for years, like since I was in school. In December last year, 2020, I decided to chop my hair because it really needed it and it just, it didn't look healthy at all. It was so skinny, straggly towards the end, so dry. I will insert a picture here of my long hair before I got it cut. I loved it, I love long hair, but I just needed it. I used to only ever go to the hairdressers once a year where I'd get my hair coloured and trimmed. I would never get it cut cut, cut cut, I'd only get it trim trimmed. Yeah, I'd only ever get my hair trimmed because I just used to be so scared of the hairdressers of them taking too much off because that's not what I wanted. To be honest, I've been wanting it cut this short for about four years. I've just never had the balls to do it. I'll insert a picture of me here straight after I got it done I actually don't, I can't remember. I feel like it was maybe, was it here? So let's get on to what I actually do to my hair. So every night before hair wash day, I apply all my oils and serums. So first of all, obviously I'll brush my hair to get any tangles out. Uh, I just use the tangle teaser. This one's actually for wet hair. Yeah, I usually just brush through my hair before I decide to put any oils in. And I also quite like to massage the brush into my scalp because in between days where I don't wash my hair, I use dry shampoo at night to kind of subdue the oils. And I find that really works for me. I've been using that kind of technique for the past couple of years. And that's how I've also managed to not wash my hair every day. I find if you put dry shampoo in in the morning, it doesn't have enough time to soak up the oil. So I still think it looks pretty disgusting. So I find if you apply dry shampoo before you go to bed, yeah, and just leave it, don't rub it in, I just leave it. So then all of my natural oils get soaked up by the dry shampoo. By massaging my scalp with the brush, I'm kind of, I'm pretty much massaging my head. Not really exfoliating, but I guess I'm just kind of breaking up all the product on my scalp, kind of lifting it off and you'll find, well, I find when I do that, you can kind of see the debris in my hair. So it is coming out. This is giving me goosebumps. <laughs> so there we go. Once my scalp is all massaged, I then go ahead and apply the Olaplex number no. six bond smoother. I don't know what that word is. It eliminates frizz, nourishes and protects your hair. And then you can also apply this at night for amazing hair the next day. So this is what I do the day before hair wash. And then I just like to massage it in my hands and then grab my hair and just run it through my hair with my fingers from one side. This actually smells 
amazing to the other side just making sure I get every kind of layer of hair because I have so many layers <laughs> so the next product I use is the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil this is just your kind of oil it adds shine it smooths and it's also a uv and heat protectant as well and then again massage it through my hands to warm it up applying this on the mid lengths to ends again working from one side to the other now i'm starting to look like a wee bit of a greasy mess the next product i use is the ordinary's 100 percent organic cold pressed moroccan argan oil it comes in this wee bottle you can actually use this on your skin as well, which is a great combination. So it, you can apply it on your hair or your skin. And again, mid lengths to ends, this is being so repetitive and you're probably so bored right now. But this is what I do every three to four nights before hair wash day. Well, the night before hair wash day. This one smells so nice. This one reminds me of holiday. The next product I use is another ordinary product and it's 100% plant derived hemi squalene. Again, just a few drops. I take a few more of those because it's not as oily. And yet again, well, this is the last time of doing this. Wow. So that's all the products that I put through the mid lengths to ends of my hair. And the last product I use in my hair before I go to bed is again, the ordinary, but it's the hair care range and it's the multi-peptide serum for hair density so i started using this one a year ago and i have almost run out of it again i have to tip it because i hardly have any left i actually use quite a lot of this so for this i like to kind of squeeze it as i run it through my hair in sections like in lines across my hair making sure i get the front section I can feel it dripping down my head. And again, just the same on the other side. Wow, <laughs> I look so good right now. So next I'm just going to massage that into my scalp. I feel like I should get someone else to do this for me. And that's it massaged. So I'm just gonna brush it through once again, just to make sure it's evenly distributed. I find that word so difficult to say evenly distributed there we go so then i usually just kind of braid it in a loose braid at the back just to reduce hair damage and stuff but because it's only 20 past four in the afternoon i am going to put it up into a sleek bun so that Thacker thinks i look like i'm put together but i'm not actually so i'm just going to twist it into a low bun and that'll be me for the evening a nice low sleek bun to make it look like I meant to do this. And my baby hairs. So yeah, here's Egghead Zoe. Hello, I feel like E.T. E.T. phone home. So I'm gonna leave it here and I'll see you guys in the morning. Night night. Good morning guys. So it's the next morning and I've been for my shower and I've washed my hair. And this is what my hair looks like when it's wet. It look like a, a nice drowned dog. <laughs> So first of all, in the shower, I did a 10 minute treatment with the Olaplex number no. three. So yeah, I use this Olaplex number no. three and it repairs and strengthens all types of hair. I usually use this maybe once or twice a week. Uh, it just depends how I feel. And I leave it on for a minimum of 10 minutes and then I wash it out. This honestly makes your hair so soft. I then washed it with the Olaplex number no. four, the bonding maintenance shampoo. I usually double wash just to make sure I've got all the yuckiness out of my scalp to make sure it doesn't go greasy quicker. Then I applied the Olaplex number no. five conditioner. All of the Olaplex stuff smells really nice and it does, I've been using this for two months now and it's honestly made such a difference to my hair. Um, I definitely will be repurchasing the bigger bottles of these. And then last of all in the shower, I washed my hair with my rice water and my scalp massaging it. Oh my god, here we are again. So after the shower, I kind of towel dry my hair so it's so it's still damp. So what I do before I dry my hair, I will apply again. Yeah, I apply a wee bit of the Olaplex number no. six. So I only apply like a, I'd say that's a pea, but maybe that's a couple of peas. And I apply this to the mid lengths to ends of my hair, kind of working it a wee bit up with my fingers. So after that, I then go and apply just a wee bit more of the Moroccan oil from The Ordinary. So yeah, I just apply a wee bit of this again. And then the last product I use is the Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil. 
So this is actually a UV and heat protectant oil. So I will apply this last to make sure my hair's got maximum heat defense. Working through my hands and applying this mid length to ends. I lied, that wasn't the last product I'm going to use in my hair. So the last product I'm going to use is this Charles Worthington Volume and Bounce Big Blow Dry Spray. So this is also a heat protectant and I'm just going to spray this through my hair because obviously I didn't put any of the oil through my roots. So I want to protect my roots. So again, just sectioning very roughly and giving it a few sprays. This actually smells really nice. So now I'm just going to go and dry it. To dry it, I kind of, I switched between my Dyson hair dryer and my Dyson air wrap. Yeah, I just used the drying nozzle to roughly dry my roots. Cue nice music so you don't have to hear the hair dryer. So next I'll go and use the curling barrel. I usually use, I usually use. Mum, this one's for you. This is how I curl my hair, but with an air wrap. I will probably do another video of how I curl my hair with straighteners because that's what mum wants to learn. Sometimes I use rollers depending if I'm going out or anything, but I'm not. So I usually only put a roller in my fringe, which I need to go get actually. So here we go, more music. Maybe I'll put some music on while I do this. Yeah, these will definitely drop throughout the day because my hair doesn't really hold curls. And I'll just take my fringe out. And that's my fringe. It's my curtains. Good morning world. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I would style my hair every day, every time I wash my hair. Bobby, stop barking. Bobby! Anyway. Yeah, I would just leave it. Usually I tuck one side behind my ear just to flatten it out a wee bit. But yeah, that's my hair care routine and how I style my hair every day. Very cute, very bouncy. But yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to follow ways I style my hair more, I'll leave my Instagram here and I'll link it below as well. And you can also see my fashion inspo and my outfits. If you would like to see another hair styling video, please comment below to let me know what you'd like to see. I know my mum would like to see me curl with straighteners so that will be coming up at some point but yeah don't forget to click subscribe to follow me on my youtube journey and just my life journey and um, hopefully have exciting things coming up in the near future so don't forget to subscribe to see what that is but yeah thank you so much guys for watching and we'll see you next sunday bye Mwah.